The first time I remember I noticed something was different in my consciousness when I, when I was a little girl. And when I was engaged with things, suddenly something would shift. And instead of just being present, I would kind of be watching things happen. So there was, there was something that was different. And this happened frequently. And it was one day, specifically I remember at a cocktail party my parents were having, it happened when I was talking to one of their friends. And then in the evening when my mom put me to bed, I would tell my mom about it and she totally didn't understand it. And I didn't understand it, so I didn't get a good explanation for it. It didn't go away. I, I couldn't make it happen or not happen. And later in life, I started understanding more about what it was when I started going to spiritual retreats and I learned about the term the observer. So that's basically what started happening. Suddenly I was observing life instead of being identified with it. So that was, that was a good understanding to have. Now later in life, uh, a friend of mine recommended a book to me where you would meditate on Bible quotes. So I would start meditating on I and my father are one. So I would sit down, kind of like dropping in the pebble, and then you would just be quiet and open and wait. So what happened after a few weeks of doing that was that suddenly it felt like the heavens opened up. And it was just like this pouring in of love, grace, call it what you will, but I was just being completely overwhelmed and filled with this beautiful love and all I could do was say thank you thank you and I, I would fall down on the floor on my knees and I would just say thank you don't ever let me stray away from this again it, it was so profound and it lasted for about three months I think the way and, and I was walking around in and as love I realized that there is only love and I was love it was so beautiful now this ended after a few months where I was in a cafe drinking a cappuccino, just watching love, God everywhere. And then this man came to me and we started a conversation and it turned into be a conversation about the Bible and God. And at the end of the evening I said, you know, I'm going to go home now. And then he said, you know, I don't have a place to stay. Can I stay at your home tonight? And I got a clear no inside, so I said, no, you can't. I don't even know you. And that's where really things changed for me, because then he said, well, it's not your home, it's God's home. And because I was in such a state of openness and innocence and surrender to God, I was in this place of thy will be done. If that's all I wanted. So when this came in, I was so confused. So I ended up saying yes and ignoring the no that I got initially. And it took me about five months to get this person out of my house. And it was the absolutely worst hell I've ever gone through. And I was forced to meet all these places in myself why I was not loving myself. I was doubting myself, thought I was not good enough, thought he knew more than I did, started to doubt what I had realized. So it took me a while and it's taken me years still to really move through all that conditioning. But what it's taught me now is that that love needs to be brought into every part of myself. And that's what I help other people experience too now.